This man has 200 pound dumbbells in his garage gym. What's up everybody? Welcome back to Garage Gym Gains. Be sure to subscribe for daily gym tours. That's right, daily gym tours. The way I'm able to do that is from you guys sending me videos of your home gyms. So if you have one, hit me up or send me a link to a tour of it and it'll get featured on here. Today, we're looking at something pretty crazy. We're checking out a $75,000 home gym and he's got about 10,000 pounds of weights in here. So I'm freaking excited. This is Michael's home gym, Michael DeVore. I'll be sure to link his YouTube channel if he has one, his Instagram as well. Man, I'm excited. He sent me this about a week or two ago and I haven't looked at it yet. I just real shortly, real briefly skimmed through it to check the video quality. It's good, so we're rolling with it. I'm excited, hopefully you are as well. Again, be sure to subscribe for daily gym tours, but I'm gonna stop talking and we're gonna get into it. Jeez. Well, now that's a lot to take in. <laughs> there is a lot of stuff to unpack in here. I'm ready for it. I already love this, the color scheme. It's just like silver, gray, black. Looks clean, looks modern. Let's check it out. All right. What's up, Garage Gym Gaines? Uh, my name's Michael, and this is a little walkthrough of my wife and I's home gym. Little pan around. All right, well, I'll explain what I got in here. Um, start off here. Full set of Rogue Hex Dumbbells, five through 125. Um, beneath them, the Rogue Urethane coated dumbbells, uh, 130s, 140s, and 150s. Dang. Um, these are sitting on Rogue. Okay, Michael. We see it with the 150s, that's what's up. Um, hex dumbbell racks, these are super heavy, um, real sturdy. I think each shelf weighs like 150 pounds. Um, these were a bear to get together. Sitting right in front of these dumbbells, we got a Rogue flat utility bench. Um, Real heavy, it's nice for just some accessory work, some random stuff. In front of him, we've got a professional series, 45 degree hip and back extension from Elite FTS. Um, the pads are super adjustable, really wide foot pad on it. Um, obviously it's got the band pegs that are adjustable down there um, for accommodating resistance on those movements. That has to be one of the most serious 45 degree back extensions I have ever seen, ever. And it's in a home gym. That's badass. Right behind it here, we've got an arsenal strength adductor and abductor machine. Fantastic for working in the adductor group and the outer glutes and hips. Two for one here. First piece of arsenal strength equipment we've seen at home gym, I believe, correct me if I'm wrong. And also the first abductor adductor. I'm pretty sure that's correct. We're, we're off to a good start here, Michael. Super heavy stack on this thing. It's got a 300 pound stack. Jeez. Um, extremely overbuilt piece. It's awesome. Over here in the corner, kind of a catch all. Wipes. A little massage gun on top, um, some training notes, um, stereo, a little half foam roller for different um, chest movements on the bench. Um, got a blob there, or a bob, I should say, for some ankle mobility. Uh, Rogue medicine ball ab mat, um, some hip thruster pads, um, 
some other accessories for the rack and my other rogue bench, a decline attachment for the bench, a landmine, um, a leg roller for single leg split squats, another T-bar handle for the barbell from Rogue, some random cable attachments that I couldn't fit on the functional trainer, you know, easy bar, a wider lap bar, um, mag grip, there's another mag grip over there as well, um, got the prime handles and that prime adjustable bar, it's awesome. Some hardware up there. Sitting next to Big Ron, Dang. Big J. Very cool piece to have in your home gym. That's awesome. And then to pair with those other dumbbells, down here we got a set okay. of 175s from Intec and a set of 200s. This man has 200 pound dumbbells in his garage gym. Let me know down below. Have you even been to a commercial gym that has 200 pound dumbbells? Man, that is wild. They are monsters and they feel a lot heavier than 200 pounds a piece, I'll tell you that. Sitting in the rack here, before I talk about the rack, the bar that's sitting right here is the west side power bar from Rogue. Now we'll get back here. Rack is a Rogue RM06. Super heavy. I love it. Uh, it's kind of the satin clear finish over the raw metal. So I haven't seen this color finish out in the wild before. I've seen it on their uh, on their website and that looks awesome. I really like that. It's just a little bit different than a plain black. It just spices it up a little bit without being overly obnoxious or in your face or anything. If you're looking for a rogue rack, you might consider that satin clear. You can still see all the welds on it. Looks pretty industrial. Pretty cool looking. Most of the plates I got are Intec cast plates uh, with the handles. Love the old school sound of them, the feel of them. The handles make it super easy. Move them around. Got the bigger two inch sandwich J cups on that part for the rack. Then I've got just another pair of the basic ones. Couple sets of band pegs on each side. I put another pull up bar in the middle there for some extra bracing, make it a little stronger. Um, out front, we've got the additional um, ball and various grip pull-up piece on the front. We'll move over to this side of it. We've got the Rogue AB3 adjustable bench in the middle. Um, this thing's super heavy duty. Um, if Brian, it's big enough for Brian Shaw, I figure it's big enough for me. Super heavy, super sturdy. It's just an awesome piece. Very expensive, but it's a common theme in here. You're, you're going to get what you pay for. Um, As Uncle Coop says, buy once, cry once. Those are wise words to build your home gym by. Over here, we've got our kettlebells from Rogue. They're all in pairs from 13 pounds all the way up to 88 pounds. Catch all, got some foam rollers, some fat grips, some wraps, ton of bands. Uh, my wife and I's some of our belts uh, from Cardillo. Super high quality, super durable. Coming over here. You know I got to go back on the wall, the wall control stuff. First off, actually. Uh, I'm gonna take it back just a little bit here. Are we not gonna are we not gonna talk about what what in the world is this? May, hopefully you get back to it a little later, but I don't have a clue what that is. Is that just a pad in the middle for like JM presses or something? I have, 
I have no idea. If he doesn't address it in the video at some point, somebody please comment down below what the heck that thing is. But uh, let's skip forward to the wall control unit or the wall storage rather. Uh, here we are. Very clean setup. All kinds of stuff on there. I really like having the shoes up there. That's clever. I hadn't thought of that. Uh, the baskets to put different accessories in, all the straps, all the belts. I love wall storage and you did a really good job with this. It looks very clean and it keeps all that stuff on the wall in a place so you know where it is and it's not cluttering up the rest of the gym. So props to you, Michael. Some wraps, ton of bands. Uh, my wife and I's, some of our belts uh, from Cardillo. Super high quality, super durable. Coming over here, some of our machines getting into. First, we've got a Arsenal Strength Sissy Squat. It's really adjustable. I just roll it out when I need to use it. Tuck it back here when I'm not. Um, other piece right here. The best leg extension piece I've ever used anywhere in the world. Um, Prime Fitness leg extension. It's just a rock star of a piece. Have we seen Prime in a home gym yet? Other than like the Prime handles? I don't think we have. I don't think we not have. I know the Star Wars home gym had the Prime handles. Uh, I think this might be our first piece of actual Prime equipment though. So another first for Michael. Sitting right next to the Prime Fitness leg extension. And the same on all the plate loaded Prime stuff, you've got these different loading horns that you can just very, you know, the resistance profile of the movement and just change what parts of the movement you want to emphasize. You can overload the beginning, the middle, the end, just makes it really versatile and just a really, really cool and useful piece. Obviously that's for our trainer to come in here and watch us, AKA my five month old son. Now here is one of the newest additions to the gym from Arsenal Strength. It's called a Multiflex. This thing is like a combo of a Smith machine and dumbbells. It just, you can literally do everything on it. It's really adjustable. It's got handles up top here that you can do shrugs, rows, curls, any kind of row or deadlift here. These handles are knurled and they are pin adjustable. So you can pull them up, you can move them to a bunch of different angles. The stops here, adjustable from here to the floor. So you can change the height of where they stop at. You can do floor presses. You can slide a bench in between here and do any kind of plate loaded chest presses you want to. And the really cool thing with these arms is they're, they're not linear. They don't go just straight up and down. They articulate side to side as well. So you can do converging presses, converging rows. And the piece in the middle here pops out with those pin selectors for split squats, for single leg stuff. Really adjustable, really cool. So I've seen a video on this multi-flex thing before when they were just announcing it, they were trying to figure out the name for it and everything. And that is absolutely insane. That looks like a really cool piece to have. I haven't had a chance to get on one yet, uh, but I'm excited for whenever I do, because that looks very cool. Rogue bumper plates, 45s, 25s sitting on there, just out of, tucked out of the way. Rogue foam plyo box. In the winter, just kind of sit stuff on it. In the summer, it gets used outside quite a bit. Sitting, sitting next to him, we've got one of the biggest pieces in here, and it's just a monster of a hack squat. The Elite FTS Monster Mondo Hack Squat. The foot plate is enormous. <laughs> it's completely adjustable to put it at different angles. Um, really love this piece. Got the band pegs up at the top and on the bottom. 
got the band set up right there at the top. It takes a little pressure off the knees at the bottom. Really just the most efficient way you can overload the quads in a fully stretched position. And it's just an incredible piece. Next to him. Okay, I didn't even know that they made hack squats that big. <laughs> that's, that's incredible. We've got our prime fitness wedges from 10, 15, and 20 degrees. We've got a calf raise block there, uh, a glute bridge that goes across that rope rack. Another piece is the dip attachment for the rack as well. And moving on here, to one of my favorite pieces in here, the Prime Fitness Functional Trainer. I mean, you can literally do everything on this. Super heavy stacks, 265 pound stacks on each side. Some cable attachments there. I mean, just literally a ton of movements you can do on this. You know, it's heavy enough for me you know, I can do unilateral lat pull downs, low rows, all kinds of various chest flies, a ton of arm work, hamstring work. It's just an incredible piece. Sitting next to him, one of my favorite pieces for conditioning, uh, the Rogue Echo Bike. I'm sure a lot of people have seen this. Super efficient way for some really, really hard conditioning. Um, super easy on the knees and the ankles. I love it. Uh, not pictured here is an air assault treadmill that I got inside. Um, but those are the two pieces I got for cardio. Now over here to the bar Jeez. storage, we've got a neutral grip press bar from Elite FTS. We've got that same bar over here that's in a camber that allows you to bring it down further for some exaggerated stretches on presses or some rows. Got a Rogue trap bar. Got a Texas power bar. Got a Rogue power bar. Got a, another curl bar over here. That curl bar in the back here is a six foot curl bar so I can rack it if I want to in the rack. Back there. It's a Rogue Fitness um, safety squat bar. And then right here out front is my favorite squat bar. It's the Spider Bar from Elite FTS. It's kind of like a cambered bar and a safety squat bar mixed. Super awesome. It's in a Rogue uh, barbell storage rack here. Got some. Am I the only one that's never seen that spider bar before? That's insane. I love it. You know, motivational stuff on the walls here. Big Gary V fan here. Uh, if you watch this video, hopefully you do. Let me know down, down below, Michael, where you got that, uh, the You're Gonna Die canvas there. That is extremely cool. Um, some of my you know, certifications. Another thing that's really important out here in a garage gym, especially in Indiana, you need to have a good heater. You need to be able to use the space all year round comfortably. And this right here, I feel like is overlooked a lot in home gyms. Um, I don't necessarily run the AC all summer, but I do run the dehumidifier all summer because moisture is the enemy of all of your equipment. If you're gonna spend money on equipment you want it to last and be good and usable um, you know another little overview of everything here we've got some good light coming in from the top on these can lights it's kind of hard to see right now but it's got pretty good lighting that put up in here. I mean, it's just a really, really good space. I feel like 
every piece in here has a purpose. Um, I tried to put it together in a way that would fit my wife and I's goals to the best. Um, everything in here is very adjustable to both her and I's needs. Um, I'm 6'4", and she's 5'3", and we can both use everything in here interchangeably. Um, you know, spend a lot of time out here, so I wanted it to be something that I was going to use and benefit from, and her as well. So, anyways guys, this is an overview of, oh, got the sub down there obviously, I got the speakers up. our home gym hope you guys liked it all right thanks guys Holy crap, Michael. That's insane. <laughs> Normally this is the part where I say what my favorite one or two pieces were and then I ask everybody else to comment down below what their favorite pieces were. Uh, so still do that, comment down below what your favorite pieces are. Good luck choosing, uh, cause that's insane. Give me a second here. I'm gonna go with, I'm gonna go with the Multiflex. Uh, from Arsenal Strength because I haven't, not only have I barely seen those in commercial gyms, I've never seen one in a home gym. I've also never seen Arsenal Strength equipment to begin with in a home gym. So there's two right there. Uh, and then also the 200 pound dumbbells. We're finally getting 200 pound dumbbells at the commercial gym that I run and I'm freaking excited for it. Uh, but it's been like a year. So you have those in your garage gym. I don't know of any gym around me that even has those. So that's insane. Very cool. The whole dumbbell selection is obviously solid. The fives through 125. And then I think you said, uh, 130, 40, 50, 130, 140, 150, and then the 175 and the 200. That's absolutely bananas. Holy crap, Michael. Easily one of my favorite garage gyms I have ever seen. Like I said, comment down below what your favorite piece of equipment was in there or your favorite 10, I suppose, uh, whatever you want to do. But thank you for letting us check that out. If you have a home gym, even if it's not as cool as Michael's, still send me a review or send me a tour of it and I'll review it rather. Hold your phone horizontally, upload it to YouTube, send me the link, easy as that. Instagram, garage underscore gym underscore gains, Gmail, garage gym gains at gmail.com website has the logo banners www.garagegymgains.com i'm gonna go sit in my garage gym and daydream about some different pieces i can put in there because holy crap that is absolutely insane like i said easily one of the best garage gyms i've ever seen that's nuts. That is nuts. Holy crap. 